Hi, my name's Gretchen, and this is a seated yoga series. This series is designed first for people who just would like to do yoga maybe in the middle of the day, take a little stretch break at their desk so they don't get caught up in that posture nightmare, you know, the rounded shoulders, chin to your chest that we get from typing and driving all day. Um, but also, it's a great series for people who are maybe a little less mobile and who would like to do yoga um, but are unable to maybe experience a full yoga class, the standing postures. So a great place to begin um, and also a great place to just take a break in the middle of your week. Starting our yoga poses seated forward. We're going to start our practice with pranayama. start our practice together seated in our chair, checking in first with our posture, aligning our ears over our shoulders, over our hips. Hands just relax down. We can be palms up or palms down. Shoulders back and down. We're going to start with a little bit of breathing, deep breathing, yoga breathing. Checking in with that breath on the very tips of your nostrils, breathing in and out through your nose. Placing our hands on our belly, feeling our belly expand as we inhale and contract as we exhale. Again, inhaling and exhaling. Continuing to feel this breath. Also noticing the breath on the back of our throat. Breathing as if we're trying to fog up a piece of glass that's right in front of our face. You know, when you were little, you'd fog it up and write something in the glass, maybe the old smiley face. Kind of bringing that back to mind as we inhale and exhale. Taking a few more deep breaths here. Add some movement to our breath. As we exhale, dropping our chin to our chest. As we inhale, roll up to one side. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, rolling up. And you don't have to follow exactly with me. It's more important that you listen to your breath and let that guide you as you inhale and exhale. Letting our head rest to one side, extending that arm that's away from our head, flexing our hand. You can change your gaze if you'd rather look down or up slightly. Sitting center and switching sides. sitting tall, moving through our upper body, bringing our hands to our shoulders, moving through arm circles, inhaling and exhaling, beginning to open our chest and our back. And switch directions. Now reaching with our arms all the way to the sky. Inhale. As we exhale, twist to one side. Just a very gentle twist or an easy twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twisting opposite side. Trying to maintain the length that we find in our spine here as we twist. You can add a gaze back over your shoulder.
and you can also add that gaze up in between your hands. Finishing center, reaching to the sky. Now moving through a side bend series. As we exhale, we reach down with one hand, up with the opposite, and if we can, if our neck is comfortable with it, we can gaze at our lifted hand. So we inhale, center. Exhale, reaching in opposition. Continue, inhale and exhale. Beginning to appreciate what it feels like to sit tall and to lengthen our spine. Resting center, bring our hands to our legs. I'm going to turn sideways for the next few poses just to kind of show you what's happening. So when we bring our hands forward, kind of if you need to, scoot to the edge of your chair to give your legs some room. Hands right above our knees, rounding slightly, and then as we exhale, we tuck our chin to our chest and we curl our back back to the back of our chair. As we inhale, we look through, arching our back slightly, gazing up to the ceiling or just out forward in front of us. And exhale and inhale for a seated cat and cow. all the way up to seated. Taking a little deeper expansion through our chest, we can either plant our hands behind us holding onto the chair, rolling back and down, or if we're comfortable, we can clasp our hands and open through our chest. Moving on to some stretching and strengthening through our lower body, our legs. So again, if you'd like, you can scoot forward to the edge of your chair. Um, you can always kind of hold on. You just don't want to grip with a tight little death grip on the sides of your chair. So extending one of your legs, doesn't matter which, using our quadricep to keep this leg lifted, just point and flex your foot. And switching sides. It also helps as we lift our legs to think about zipping up through our abdomen and place this leg down. So it would be like we're putting on a very tight pair of pants, holding that belly in nice and tight, lifting our other leg again, making circles in one direction. And circles in the opposite. And release. Remember to zip up that abdomen. Just because we're seated doesn't mean we don't want to use all of our muscles. Lifting our opposite leg, making circles. And switch direction. Place that leg down, a couple leg stretches. Extending one leg forward, supporting on our bent leg, Releasing as far forward as is comfortable. Stretching through the back of our leg. And switching sides. I have two different variations. The first is to take one leg up completely over your knee and let that leg relax to the side. However, if that isn't comfortable, you can do that with an extended leg, just crossing at a low ankle, kind of letting your hip open, relaxing this leg. So either way, we're working on a hip opener. You can do this low 
or you can do this high, sitting tall, then with a long spine, ear, shoulders, hips in line, releasing forward slightly. Just letting this knee pull down on its own with gravity. We don't have to push. In fact, we don't want to push. And releasing opposite side. Remember your option is high or low as we lean forward. chair around. You definitely didn't have to move your chair at all. Going through a couple more things for our upper body before we call it one complete yoga session. So let's open up our arms, kind of bring our elbows as if they're trying to touch back behind us. And then we're going to take our left arm under our right, touching our palms and rounding forward. Again, opening and then right under left, rounding forward. Sitting tall, releasing your arms, allowing your eyes to close for a moment. Checking in with your breathing. Checking in with your posture, ears, shoulders, hips, all in line. Checking in with your belly. Are you zipping up that tight pair of pants? And see how many times today you can bring yourself back to this posture and remind yourself what it's like to sit tall and sit proud and create strong bodies and strong muscles.